I received an email today and I saw several responses to it. There's an email chain going on and it brought something to mind that I've been, I've been thinking about a lot recently. <clears throat> this is the, the, the idea of speaking truth to power and speaking truth to power is a tactic. It's just that it's a tactic. And the, the dictionary definition or the, the Wikipedia definition is a nonviolent political tactic employed by dissidents against the received wisdom or propaganda of governments they regard as oppressive, authoritarian, or an ideocracy. And yeah, that's a real word. I pronounced it wrong. It's not idiocracy, but it's very similar to that. But look it up and you'll, you'll see what it means. Uh, if you look up speaking truth to power, you'll find that definition and you can follow the rabbit hole. It is a tactic. It is simply a tactic. So another tactic in the arsenal of social interactions, the humanitarian efforts, et cetera, et cetera, is violence. And another is propaganda to, to the masses. And there are many, many other hundreds of tactics out there, thousands of them that exist. And so speaking truth to power is only one of those. Most individual tactics like violence or speaking truth to power or propaganda only work in certain circumstances and to achieve certain ends. And sometimes violence is the best tactic for a thing. For example, I would say if a, a woman is being raped and she can fight back, then violence is her best option for responding to that initiated violence. In some cases, speaking truth to power might work well. I would say that it is rarely a good tactic, this speaking truth to power. And so why is that? That is because we have to ask ourselves the question, does power care about truth? By the very nature of those who seek to be in positions of power to rule over other people, are they the kind of people that are seeking truth? What do you think? Do, do you believe that either on small levels, city councilmen, uh, parish leaders, county commissioners, county health officers, governors, state legislators, Congress people, senators, presidents, vice presidents, do the type of people that get into that line of work, are they anxiously waking up each day seeking truth? Is that what it is that they are looking for? And I think. 98% of you are saying, well, no, that's not the personality. That's not what they're looking for. They're looking for more power. They're looking for other things that are not truth. <clears throat> so is that the person you're going to speak truth to, the person who's not looking for it? And we have to, we have to realize that there are a lot of intelligent, well-intentioned, good people who disagree about what truth is. This makes this issue even more difficult. What is truth? And of course, I think that what I say is the objective truth. And you probably think the same about what you say. What information do we trust? And, and how do we come by it? How do we pick? Like, we can't all become experts on everything in the world. So we look up to people who we view to be experts on a thing, and then we trust their opinion. Well, how do we pick those people? And I don't have the correct answers. For me, it's just kind of a, a gut feeling. I, I base it on some data and I, I, a little bit of fact involved in it. But, but frankly, in a lot of areas, if somebody comes up to me and says that they're a plant biologist and they explain how photosynthesis works, I'm probably not going to doubt them. I don't I, I, I wouldn't question them that much. I go, okay, that, okay, okay. And I'm not interested in it, but I would accept what they say. Um, I wouldn't bet my life on it, but yeah, I bet you there's a real good chance that it's, it's true. Well, when we look at what politicians say, do they really care about my truth, what I observe to be true? Do they really care about what you believe to be true? Are they really sitting there in their armchair. Here's your county, uh, you know, or your whatever, whoever your local party leadership is. They're sitting there in their comfortable chair in the morning, just looking for better information so they can make better decisions to help make your life better. Do you believe that they're doing this? Um, for those of you that haven't spent time in politics, then 
you probably don't get why I'm laughing, but having spent a good many years involved in those arenas, I mean, I can, I can tell you that that's not true. I remember uh, I, I used to be a Rotarian and I was uh, at a luncheon and there was a, a, a local politician that was very popular. Everybody knew him. And he was just kind of laughing over lunch, talking about how all these people write him these letters and emails. He's like, I don't read them. I don't care what they say. Like he already knows what decisions he's going to make. He was just laughing at the people who think that they're going to make a difference by sending him a letter. And, and that's true across the board. It's not just like, Ooh, I got the one bad apple. Yes, some will listen to things, but if they change their mind and they agree with you, it's probably not because you spoke truth to that position of power, that person who's in a position of power. It's probably because they found another reason to do it. Now, I'm not saying that all politicians are always um, ignoring truth, that they all want bad things to happen to bad people all the time. Of course not. They want what's going to keep them in power and make their area better for them and their friends. And sometimes that will be in line with what you want. Sometimes it'll be in line with, with what I want. Keep in mind though, that speaking truth to power, this tactic, <clears throat> it isn't really going to work if the topic that you're interested in is a a thing that's not up for discussion, or it's, it's part of a bigger agenda. And, and so I'll use this as an, as an example. Think about if you were trying to convince the local pastor why uh, gods can't exist, or why there's no proof that any gods exist. Uh, and if you try to explain it to them, well, they have a bigger agenda. They're, they have a strong faith, and they want to promote the concept of gods. So you're not going to convince them. Look at the sustainability, the United Nations sustainability efforts. They've sent it down to everybody in the world, all the governments that are participating, and, and they say it's not a binding thing, but here's your plan of action. Here's your agenda. This is what you need to do. And so you're not going to find more than a few in the whole country politicians that will speak out against uh, sustainability measures. And it's not because they know some truth. They just are following their orders, their marching orders, non-binding marching orders, and they're, they're, they're not able to make those little tiny decisions themselves. They're not interested in the, the negative consequences that could come about if they stood up and spoke their truth. So the same thing is true in the email chain that I received this morning. There are these facts that the writers of the email think that they are. Well, here's the truth about masks and the the such and such molecule size of the viral blah, blah, blah can pass right through and blah. Well, that's admittedly biased. And I happen to not be a, a man, the person who wants the government to mandate what people wear on their bodies or where they go or what they do. So I'm opposed to mask mandates, vaccine mandates, testing mandates, all of those things. I don't like anything where a group of people initiate violence or even one person initiates violence. So obviously I'm opposed to that. However, in all fairness, there's a lot of really biased truth and facts that are sent to politicians in a rude manner and then the people think that the politicians are just sitting there and saying, oh, here's an email. Maybe I'll finally fi find the truth. Maybe all of the stuff I've been getting from the local county health doctor and the, the Department of Human Medical Public Health International people, all those big named fancy schmancy pro-state, pro-government organizations that are, that are just all tangled together – well, finally, I'm getting information from some dude who sent me an email. Really? No, they've got all those other resources. That's what, they don't even care about that. But if they were going to really, truly want to see if masks are a good idea from a, a scientific virus spreading standpoint, they're not going to listen to the person who sent them an email. And this is my opinion. And it's a, a strong opinion. There are many things that I I think, yeah, that's probably true, such a thing. This, I'm really sure that this is true. Um, so this is just kind of my reason for not getting excited and not sending letters to my masters saying, here's the truth, and now I trust you to make good decisions. No, they really, really don't care. I, I don't know if you agree or not. If you don't, please provide a good argument, but... Yeah, I'm pretty convinced that they don't care at all.